it's been a while since my last vlog. Actually, it's been about three or four months, I think. Uh, a lot of things happen, good and bad, regarding uh, the uh, absence that was not vlogging. And the reason why is this this beginning is going to be a long time because I'm going to have to try to catch everybody up or whoever that's still around watching these vlogs. I want to um, somewhat not speed rush it for what happened the last four months up until now. So I'm probably might just be this vlog just be a uh, catching up. Uh, so I'm just going to go from where my last vlog ended up until today. I'm, I'm going to try to do it without putting too many details into it, but I want to let you all know, whoever's still watching or interested in my vlogs, what happened, the good, the bad, the whole getting over on things, to be as a circle, to be in full circle. So, alright, when I last ended the vlog, uh, you knew I had a driver's license, you knew... Um, a lot of things that were going on at the time I don't even remember. It was actually summertime. We're now in fall. Well, actually, we're in winter now because this is December second. So it's been a while. So um, at the time, Pam was giving me the vehicle, the 1996 Oldsmobile car. It is officially mine now. Uh, I have the title, uh, the insurance is under my name, and all that. But before that happened, the car had an issue with starting. Out of nowhere the car started had an issue starting and then stalling. And uh, we bring it to the garage. We spent about three hundred dollars in it. Uh, got it out of the garage and then me driving up the hill here it sputtered and if you had noise in the background that's my PS4 theme so don't worry if you hear that in instrumental music. But anyway it sputtered, and then at the top of the hill here, where I usually back it up, it stalled. And I kind of panicked, and I shoved it in the park instead of putting the brake down. And then this car has an automatic. I don't know if it's all the same with automatics or not. The brake stopped, and I rolled into a ditch back here. Went through the barbed wire fence and went into the ditch. I do have pictures, so I will show you the pictures after I explain this. I'm going to stop, and then the pictures are going to appear. And then I'll come back to my catching up but yeah it rolled back into the ditch we had to get the landlady's son to get the tractor to pull it out mm -hmm. and it dented the inside uh, it dented the driver's side door scratched the shit out of the side so then after that I had to put in new plugs new wires it still didn't have it still had a problem with the starting and I think the one issue what was it that I found that that was the issue of the starting I think it was because the garage said it needs a new gas tank, which I still didn't do that yet. And I'm, if you're going to do a gas tank, it's going to need a fuel pump mm -hmm. to put in it. But right now, those two things are working fine. We thought it was a fuel pump, huh? but really it wasn't. So now, we're thinking the problem it might have been was a clogged catalytic converter. So, um, what me and my father did... Huh? Uh -huh is we uh, worked around it to try to make it work huh? but in the reality of things is, is I need a new catalytic converter because it won't pass inspection due to its failing uh, I even put a new muffler on the thing huh? on the car so it's a brand new muffler on it uh, I have my father's friend hook up the fans because remember the last winter in the vlogs I would freeze my butt off and so would Pam in the car because I had no heat because the fans were always running because we had a hot wire to be continuously running. Well, we finally have a switch on it now that makes it where when it gets hot enough, the car engine, flip the switch on, fans come on. So this is the first year within I think two and a half years that I actually have heat driving in the car which is like a Christmas present and it's on. So, we got that done with it. Uh, now I'm dealing with a slight front wheel, uh, front driver's side brake line that is leaking very so slightly. But with brake lines, if you know anything about cars, any you know time you put pressure on it hard enough, it could snap them. So I have to get that looked at. But the car is officially mine. It is my car. 
I own a 1996 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme now officially. It was pretty cool. Pam even got me a little skull keychain to, uh, you know, celebrate the day that I actually went down to the DMV and I had to pay $146 or something for all this because when you buy the title, you don't get the friggin' license plates with it in New York State. You gotta pay another $25 for the license plates. So that was a shocker and, and it's on. But yeah, so that's what happened there. And then what, what else uh, went on while I go through this? Uh, let me see the time of this recording so I know I have to put it in segments maybe. Actually, I'm gonna cut now to the pictures of the car being in the ditch. Eh? So you're gonna see about two pictures of it, and then we'll continue. So I should come in a second or two now. Did you see those pictures? Yeah. So. <clears throat> We got the car working fine. It starts up fine, but it still needs work here and there. Uh, you know, there's there's Bondo needs to be in the rust. But anyway, what what else was going on um, next in the uh, line of the uh, time I was absent? Um, we took the pool down. Took the pool down. The pool was not down. We did that. Um, Halloween was okay. Halloween was good. We really didn't do that much. We didn't have trick or, trick or treaters. I did not get dressed up for Halloween this year like I did last year. Last year I think I was a vampire. or uh, No, actually I was the Joker last year and the year before that I was a vampire. So yeah, I did not uh, uh, decorate. We decorated a little bit, but not really like we did. We didn't have no witch in the window. We didn't do really any decorating in, in October because of the next reason that... Um, Actually, not the next reason, the next issue that occurred. Because this has been one thing after another, and that's why I didn't vlog, really, because it was just a lot of crap piling on top of crap, and I didn't want to really want the world to see it. So we didn't decorate for Halloween. I bought about $30, $25 in candy, though, because candy is a must on Halloween. Even though, I, you know, toothaches and all that, but a must. So we had candy, though. Halloween was just a regular day, you know, gave Mark some candy, my brother, and basically that was it. So Halloween, you didn't miss anything. It was a regular day. Um, regarding the next uh, hurdle we had to go over, was was somewhat of a big hurdle uh, for me and Pam, mostly, more so for Pam, but you wouldn't know if you uh, was around me at the time, too. Um, the last time we went, I vlogged, um, you, you knew that, uh, Cherokee was, had a surgery and he had the, uh, mask taken off the side of his head and, uh, he was doing fine and you know, and he was getting better and he had the cone on his head and all that. And then, remember when I vlogged that he heard his poem from me throwing a toy and he stumbled? He was getting over that. And then, he just started getting sicker. And we thought, you know, maybe it was uh, problems with him aging and such. And it just snowballed into one thing, after, you know, after that it just got worse. Or we just thought it was old age and all that. And then, you know, just out of the blue, he just stopped eating and uh, would only eat for me out of my hand. And uh, then he just stopped eating, uh, you know, more and more so, slowly and slowly. He started losing a lot of weight eh? and started getting very, very skinny. Now, me nor Pam had any kinds of money to uh, bring him back to the vet. Because we were, she was paying a bill from the surgery prior, so we tried our best to you know keep him you know without having pain. We give him aspirin and uh, stuff of that nature because we thought maybe it was he was having like you know um, um, 
uh, um, arthritis in his joints, and maybe he was getting uh, like uh, Alzheimer's for dogs. Uh, this uh, what's that word I'm looking for? Dyslexia, where you know it's where you really don't know who you are or remember. It's basically like Alzheimer's for doggies, and. We don't. Maybe that's why he wasn't gonna eat for us and stuff because you know he doesn't know us. So he'll eat for me, which was at least something, but not enough to um, sustain him. He would drink like crazy and would drink a lot of water, and uh, so then it just uh, went. You know, Pam was researching on the internet trying to figure out what kind of medicine she could get and try to make him his appetite. You know, come. You know, where he would want to eat again. And it just got worse and worse, and it was going through the month of October, too. That's why we didn't do anything for Halloween, because it was like, you know, it's, we can't think about that. We were trying to help the dog. And it just got worse and worse and, until the point where Pam had to make the decision to, you know, because he was suffering at this point. He got to the point where... He couldn't even keep his balance walking. His back legs would give out, and uh, it just got to the point where it's like he's suffering. Uh, so Pam made the decision to call a vet and make an appointment that same day, uh, um, and to bring him down to get him put to sleep. I couldn't go because I was a mess and I would have made things a lot worse. And so Pam and her sister and her husband helped to get the dog in the car. And Pam went with her. I stayed home trying to keep myself together. Uh, and then on the way down to the uh, vet, he died in Pam's arms. I guess maybe it was better that way because he was with... Uh, Pam, then, to uh, have to, you know, have the doctors do it for him. But he was with her, just as Pam's older dog before her that I had never met, which was named Navajo, um, went with Pam, but that dog needed to be put to sleep. But Cherokee did it on his own volition, and uh, before he went, he gave me and Pam a last kisses, and and, uh, uh, it's still hard because it actually wasn't that long ago. He actually died on Veterans Day. So, it's not even been a month since he's gone yet. I just forgot I better do a vlog because people might think something happened to me. Or any one of us. So I figured I'd do this vlog because we have the Christmas tree up. It's getting close to Christmas. And, you know, I can't wait forever to do this because it needs to be done. You know, if I'm going to vlog again, I have to let the people know. Because you're going to see a missing member in the house. And, you know, Cherokee did a lot. He was a lot in the vlogs. You know, he started the vlogs. He ended the vlogs. So... Pam got him cremated. We scoured up as enough money as we can to get it done because I, me and Pam originally was considering burying him in the backyard, but I figured if we get him cremated, we could have him around with Pam forever. So we got him cremated. We picked him up about a, a week ago. So he's right there on the fireplace. I'll show you in a little bit where he is. And, and uh, Christmas was his birthday, so this Christmas he would have been 12 years old. Let me see how much minutes we got on this recording. So I could. Okay, let's start another one. Damn, my battery's about to be dead already. I can't believe that. These are brand new batteries. Uh, so yeah, he would have been 12 years old on Christmas. So I figure keep him close to the Christmas tree. It's his birthday. And we may have one less stocking on it, but I was even considering celebrating his birthday, even by buying, you know, a little cake or something, or something to remember him by. Because Cherokee's never going to be forgotten and never going to be replaced. I've already said that because I was trying to tell Pam maybe we should get a new pet, 
or a new dog or something because the routine is not the same. I'm used to doing you know the same thing every single day, feeding him, letting him out, playing with him, and all those things that I know uh, same dog would never be the same. I mean, Cherokee did these things that no old dog would ever do. I mean, I don't know if I ever showed you the cigarette trick where I put a cigarette up to him and he would literally shake his head no, meaning he's like, I don't want that cigarette, get that thing away from me. I had never seen a dog do that. And Pam didn't even teach him that. That was something that he did on his own. So, yeah, it wasn't a very emotional time and I didn't want to record any of it. And even now, I'm getting broken up because I'm thinking about it. And even now, you know, in the middle of the night, I I, I think about him sometimes because I'm like, you know, I hear like footsteps on the mat coming to the door. And it's like, that would be him. And it's not, he's not there. And it's like, I'm hearing things. And it sounds like I'm going insane. But it's just the the internal monologue that I, I'm re, I, I just am used to. So anyway, he will never be forgotten. And I hope any of you using the vlog, uh, vlog land won't forget him because he'll be always with us in our hearts. And, and uh... Uh, in the future, I was going to make a memorial video of all of Cherokee's greatest moments. It made me make a vlog of all of Cherokee's greatest things that he did and funny things. And put one long vlog dedicated just for him. But not right now, because we're still grieving, so that won't be for a while. But, I'm going to try to cut this short now before I get any more um, worse. But the Christmas tree's up. I'm going to show you the Christmas scene later today if this vlog doesn't get too long. And some decorations. We're going to try to decorate Christmas. We're going to try to celebrate Christmas. Even though it's not going to be the same. And we just have, you know, just got to be strong. Because that's the way Cherokee would have wanted it. Eh? That's exactly what he wanted. He didn't want to see us all suffering. He wanted us to know that we're doing okay. Because he's always with us. In spirit, he's with us. So... Stay tuned. Uh, I'm sorry if this lasted too long. I really was just trying to keep you all up to date on, you know, I wasn't just not vlogging because I didn't want to. It was because there was a lot of crap going on. A lot. With the car, with the dog getting sick and all. It's just too much one after the other. And I just, it was, you know, life comes first huh? before the vlog. Huh? So stay tuned. And uh, I don't know what the darn I'm going to put on this vlog yet today because it's probably already long but stay tuned it might be a couple of little things and uh, see you in a little bit well the centipedes are out and as you see this time we're doing it different or Pam did it differently last year we had those pine cones in it and this year we have some balls some decorative balls we've got balls and we got the candles out Yep, there's more on this side, but I can't really show you because Pam's sitting right there because we situated the couch, the couch differently this year. Let's pan over here, and uh, this is what the Christmas trees looks like from the couch perspective. And she's got the NASCAR red carpet for the banquet on. Uh, let's pan over here. The table's out for the village that she's going to be putting together in a day or two. There's the totes where all the houses are and villages and all that. My Santa hat is out because I've been wearing that going out. And panning over to the fireplace. I may show you more of the decorations there later or so, but for now this is the tree. If you remember last year we had all white, this year we have colored it. Bronson, I just want to say hi to the viewers. You haven't seen him in a long time. And so are these birdies. Don't you want to say hi?
Birdies! Birdies! Anyway, I'm wearing a new shirt I got. I don't know if you can see it. It says, uh, I'm going to try to zoom in. It says, uh, The Holiday Emotions of Clark Griswold. And it's all the different uh, emotions from the movie uh, Christmas Vacation. I'm going to try to do a close-up by doing this. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not, but let's see if I pan it down. So you got excited, despair, confused, uh, trying to get it uh, happy, and then we have joy, and then we have, what one is that one, doubtful, and then we have shocked, Intrigued and fear, and then it says the holiday emotions of Clark Griswold. I thought that was pretty cool. I picked it up a couple of days ago at the convenience store, and I first time wearing it. It's that toothbrush time. Gotta brush them teeth. Don't forget that. Every time you go to uh, bed, you brush that teeth. You wanna have a good uh, dental care. So, get ready to do that. Um, I also forgot to mention bright lights. My hair is messed up. Holy crap, I didn't notice it. But it's bedtime anyway. And who cares what your hair looks like when you're going to bed? I mean, unless the tooth fairy is going to get scared off, but I got no teeth to give her. And Mr. Sandman, he don't care. He sleeps. And he makes you sleep. But I forgot to mention about, my, about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving went okay. It was an okay Thanksgiving. It was basically just me and Pam. We didn't have no family members, nobody came over for Thanksgiving. We didn't invite anybody because of the issues that were going on. And it was just basically just a me and Pam Thanksgiving. I forgot to mention that before when I mentioned about we didn't dress up for Halloween. But I'm about to close this vlog. I hope um, you would enjoy it or at least have knowledge that I am somewhat coming back to vlogging. I'm going to try to have some, uh, not daily ones, because I'm tr gradually coming back to vlogging. I'm um, not coming back in full force every single day a new vlog, but maybe every few days there'll be a vlog. I don't know. See how it goes. It's all coming back very slowly right now. Um, and again, sorry if it was a lackluster vlog. It was more of to notify that I'm back and what was going on to not leave you hanging for a long time even though it was as long as it was I didn't want it to be but we uh, never end this vlog without trying to have you the opportunity to share like and uh, you know with every thumb up is an always good thumb Never a down one. Never a downers, always uppers. So, thumb up the video.